Hello everyone, welcome to a little mini episode, just wanted to say because I am home for Christmas and I was sitting out in the garden looking at birds, looking mainly to take pictures of the small birds in the apple tree, of which there was male black cap, there were some sparrows, starlings, but I don't actually have pictures of any of them. Actually, I do have a picture of the robin, he's very photogenic, but who I do have a picture of is a red kite. And there were two red kites circling above this area, big wide circles, but they were also doing twists and aerobatics, so I thought that they must be close to feeding on something. Uh, they eat mainly carrion, so if they are circling around, there might be a piece of roadkill that they are quite interested in. And I thought then that I should have plenty of good opportunity for pictures, and I certainly did. For those of you who don't know, red kites almost went extinct. They actually did go extinct in the UK in the 1870s, and their populations declined greatly in other places in Europe as well. They've been reintroduced, and in the early 2000s, one of the only places you could go to see them was in South Wales. My very, very boring head teacher once did an entire assembly on red kites and going to see them, and while well, 12 year old me thought it was probably the most dull thing I'd ever, ever experienced in my whole life. Nowadays, very different. <laughs> now that their populations are recovering, you can see them in all sorts of places. One good place to see them is in Oxford, another good place is in Tewkesbury, saw them at the medieval festival flying low. They were actually more interesting than the falcons because it was 38 degrees Celsius and the falcons refused to fly. <laughs> the Latin name of the red kite is Milvus Milvus, and funny, there is a word for when the binomial name the scientific name of an animal has the same part twice, like Milvus Milvus or Rattus Rattus, and that is a tautonym. It also applies to trinomial names like Gorilla 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 and Bison Bison Bison. I looked it up on Wikipedia. Apparently you're not allowed tautonyms for botanical namings, as so you can't name a plant the same thing. And on the Wikipedia page, it seems that there have been a couple of times where they tried to cheat by replacing an I with a Y and then making that a different name. <laughs> I thought that was quite interesting, so I thought it'd be worth saying. <laughs> but I'm so happy every time I see a red kite. They're a great example of a conservation success. They were persecuted on purpose, and they were poisoned and killed and, and trapped and stuff, and and they are a protected species now, I'm pretty sure. They're, they're a very interesting bird to go and see. They're very distinct from a buzzard or from another kind of bird of prey due to their triangular tail. Uh, apparently you had to be careful in the like 1500s if you were hanging out your laundry if there were red kites around because they would steal your small linens to use as nesting nesting material <laughs> and i just think it's funny imagine being a 1500s peasant you go out and you don't have any underwear because a red kite is building a nest <laughs> but yeah that's all i have for you today i just thought it was a really fantastic thing to see and take a picture of and i just really wanted to share that please don't mind my little christmas jumper i <laughs> I wanted to surprise my sister with it, but she's actually got the flu. So, oops, this has been backwards the whole time. I can't not let people know what exact kind of camera I've got. <laughs> I guess that's happy holidays for me. I, I'm not really a big Christmas fan generally, actually. I prefer to celebrate the solstice because that's when the days start getting longer and that means that winter depression is ending. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing that picture of a red kite. Pictures and learning some random facts about them, and I will see you on the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs>